Hello everyone, my name is Arash and I'm about to show you a demo of my code that I've developed in order to interactively work with Abacus and MATLAB. So the code, what it does is that basically it's running Abacus through MATLAB command, which gave me lots of capabilities such as automation for material property changing or mesh study or changing the deformation rate or anything else in my simulation. So extracting information is going to be much easier. It's going to be automatically uh, extracted from the um, basically um, Abacus ODB files. And uh, it's going to be very useful for any kind of optimization or um, any parametric studies. What you need in order to do some sort of relative work or similar work is that basically you need to have MATLAB and Abacus software and also you need to have the capability to do some Abacus scripting and you need to have some knowledge about MATLAB programming and also because Abacus script is based on Python programming you need to have some Python programming skills. In this code, I have used user material subroutines in order to change the constitutive equation of my material. So if you want to do the same thing, you need to have some knowledge about Fortran programming and also you need to have a Fortran compiler. So this demo is created based on a code that I've developed in order to, uh, as a part of my PhD studies, in order to compare different constitutive equation of 5182 aluminum alloy. And the manuscript is accepted for publication in 2016 in Journal of Materials and Design. So if you want to do some similar studies, um, my suggestion is to have a main folder um, containing all of your uh, basically Python and also MATLAB folder but the best thing is to organize them in this way that I'm going to show you. First you need to have a folder containing all of your MATLAB files. This contains all sorts of uh, scripts uh, that is basically MATLAB script.m files and also some MATLAB files that you may have. Yeah, you may need to have a folder uh, which contains all of the output information from MATLAB uh, that are basically extracted from the ODB files. You need to have the Abacus files, which contains all the uh, Python files, view maps, or any other information that you needed to run the simulations uh, using scripting. So all the Python files should go into this folder, and also the Abacus output folder, which is going to be the, all of the simulation files. This is going to be a huge folder, so um, uh, all the simulation is going to be there. It's going to be uh, relatively large folders compared to the other three that I've mentioned. And you may need to have some further analysis post simulation um, folder, uh, which my suggestion is to have them separate because you may not uh, want to automatically go through those uh, files. You need to um, double check what's going on over there. So I'm going to show you the demo. Um, here uh, you can see that uh, my Tensile main folder, which is in my MATLAB file folder, uh, is shown at the right hand side and at the left you're seeing the basically code. I'm going to run it briefly and explain what's going, ha going to happen in the file. So once I run the file, um, there is going to be a, a graphical user interface open and there I'm going to select the hardening function. And after selecting Johnson Hook hardening function, I can select the direction, the mesh size and also the strain rate and uh, save all the necessary information uh, i mean the file or figures uh, it can be an option and i'm selecting them and also i have a time multiplier which is going to continue the deformation uh, up to an amount then another uh, basically menu is going to be opened and uh, i can select the genetic algorithm constants of constitutive equation option or using the regression analysis uh, result and I can have some other uh, basically references as you can see here and once I select the genetic algorithm I'm going to see another menu pop up pops up and it's going to ask me if I want to have the symmetry or not I'm going to run the full specimen size in this um, uh, demo and you can see that um, at the right hand side you can see that all the necessary files is created and we are going to have um, basically job created and um, submitted for analysis and it can, as you can see here at the left hand side I've selected 100 um, basically intervals for my steps 
and it's going to continue um, to the progress up to 100. I'm going to show you the Johnson Cook view at the create and run uh, Johnson Cook file uh, as a really briefly uh, that it needs some kind of programming, some kind of uh, Python programming, and as you can see here. And uh, the ViewMat file is basically the Fortran programming. I'm using Sublime, which is an excellent uh, text editor program, as you can see here. And uh, basically, um, once the job is submitted, all these files are going to be um, called and read, and basically is going to be uh, used inside the code. And uh, this one that you can see, that's very long, uh, uh, relatively long, um, uh, Python program uh, is is the specimen geometry uh, created. You don't need to go through all of those in order to prepare that kind of uh, Python file, but there are some tricks. If you Google them, you can find them out. So once the job is finished, uh, it's going to uh, extract all the information that I wanted. I wanted to have the flow curve of the material based on two reference points, and um, I wanted to plot them versus the experimental results and also versus the uh, analytical results. And as you can see here, all these results have been plotted inside MATLAB and all the information necessary for plotting these is extracted in a text file, very simple text file from Abacus automatically. So it's give me, it is giving me um, lots of capabilities and I, I, without this code, I wasn't really able to uh, work on the manuscript that I wanted and also it calculated all the errors and mean a square error or um, um, I don't know adjusted R square error or these kind of errors automatically again um, were calculated inside my uh, MATLAB file or MATLAB script if you open the tensile um, CAE file from um, Abacus you can see that basically the part is created um, you can double check everything for sure you can see the property of the material you can see that uh, basically the user material uh, values which were, uh, were supposed to be called inside the view mats uh, is created based on the condition that you selected at the beginning of the um, running of the code and also even the time uh, step is uh, calculated inside MATLAB um, depending on the strain rate that you were using and also the time multiplier. The um, initial condition, the step size, the uh, loading and everything, you can double check them for sure. And also the mesh size uh, was selected at the beginning. So you can uh, change any of these parameters uh, in a loop or automatically in order to do some mesh studies or understand which of the uh, material parameters is more important. And here you can see that the, um, the finished job, you can see the visu visualization of the whole uh, uh, simulation and you can see that the um, basically strain or stress is focused inside the gauge area uh, and um, if you want you can take some pictures from this kind of um, basically visualization so i want to show you again um, another simulation that i ran just by changing the mesh size inside the first um, gui and without changing anything basically by selecting different options i can have um, different specimens being simulated and at different conditions. Here is the result for uh, much finer mesh. And um, again, you can see that the um, job is successfully uh, finished and uh, the gauge area is the most area with, uh, is, is the area with the most uh, basically uh, deformation being focused. So that's uh, concluding my um, demo. And I hope that it was somehow useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. You can always find me um, through my homepage or from my email address. And thank you for your time.